Okay, I'm here in a uh, what you might want to call a winter wonderland, checking out some abandoned mines, and uh, we're hiking up this old mining road that's now snow covered. And I'm here with Justin, and he's from the he's from the Southern New Mexico Explorer YouTube channel. So there'll be a little slide out card that'll appear in the upper right hand corner of the uh, screen with a link to his channel. So head on over there. He's been exploring mines for a few years and has a lot of good videos of mines in the Southwest. And check him out and subscribe. And uh, we're going to go up here and check out a flooded, a flooded mine that goes in at least a thousand feet, if not more. So let's go check it out. Okay, we're here at the mine portal. Here's the water flowing out. You can see steam coming off the water. So we're not sure if this broke into a. Uh, hot spring or some kind of geothermal uh, source of water but the water's coming out of the portal which is right there very unique they used a uh, a tank and put a door in it to access the mine and uh, unfortunately the door you can't get it open anymore because a little bit of landslide but on top it's eroded open. So let's go check it out. So here uh, we're on top of the tank and here is the eroded opening and the tank stops right there and there's some of that classic mine timbering and you can hear the water. So here's a shot looking in the portal. You can see the water down there. Uh, Probably, I'm not sure how deep that is, maybe six inches, a foot at the most. But then further beyond that, you can see, zooming in there, the, uh, the tracks, the ore cart tracks come out of the water and it looks to be dry. And then looking behind me is that tank that was used as the makeshift entrance. It's got some standing water in it. So right here inside the portal, we think that's fluorite, right there. And then we noticed in the, in the uh, tunnel arch here, there's a lot, of, a lot of green. And these uh, hairs growing down. And I think my camera fogged up. Okay, so we're about uh, 1,500 feet inside this tunnel. Um, I had to wait until my camera adjusted to the humidity in this tunnel. My lens was all fogged for the first thousand feet or so, which are behind us that way. I don't know if you can see in the video, but you can barely make out the light coming from the portal. See that little dot right there? That's, that's the uh, entrance. We're about 1,500 feet in, just climbed over this big collapse, and it's flooded here about three feet. And Justin's already gone down there. Now that my camera is uh, not fogging up anymore, I'm gonna take you down there. So let's go check it out. Yeah, surprisingly, this water is not as cold as other flooded mines that I've been in. It's sort of, it's not warm, but it's not ice cold, which is kind of unusual. And uh, that right there is a dead end. Justin, check that out. And you can see, the water is just almost up to my waist, about three feet. And uh, it's kind of hard to see because the water stirred up from Justin's passage. So I'm kind of trying not to trip on these rocks. But he's way down there. So let's go catch up. But it's amazing how fast the water cleared out after he walked through here. You can see the uh, or car tracks there. Still about three feet deep. Here's the remnants of the uh, electrical wiring. There, uh, we've seen many of these actually, the first thousand feet in. And you can also see under the water here, two pipes, a larger pipe and a smaller pipe, probably for air or water for the drills. And this modern pipe is a black, uh, plastic or rubber pipe here on the right, 
probably from a more modern enterprise that tried to make a go of this mine. But, uh, oh, here's some, here's some miner's graffiti. Check that out. I think that's miner's graffiti. Yeah, it's a, let's see, a picture of a miner. And it uh, looks like another guy with a hat. Two miners. I think that says, wow, I want, is that? 1885? It's hard to see that. Anyway, that's a picture of two miners. And you can see there's the uh, collapse we climbed over. And just beyond that collapse, you can see way down there, about 1,600 feet, the uh, little speck of light. That's the portal. More miners graffiti, that's a, a face. You can see the nose there, the two eyes and a mouth, and he's wearing a pretty big hat. It says something up there. You can't make out what that says. Okay, we just passed the 1400 foot mark. A lot of miners graffiti here. Um, looks like some names. Can't make out what they say, but so I had to take all the stuff out of my pockets uh, because the water's starting to come up to where my pockets are on my jeans. So I had to put everything in my camera bag. That was my iPhone and a, a walkie-talkie. And uh, hopefully it'll get more shallow up here. Um, you can still see Justin's lights way up there. I tried calling him on the walkie-talkie, but uh, he must have his turned off. Or I didn't do it right, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can make it a little more shallow here. Here's a little alcove. left-hand side, oh, there they are. They're still there, at least the one is the larger one. Okay, just past 1,600 feet. That's looking back where we just came from, and we're gonna keep on going further into the tunnel. Yeah, Justin was here not too long ago, and he only got in about 1,200 feet to where that collapse was, to where the water turned really deep. So he wanted to come back to this one and he told me about it. And I said, sure, let's do it. So we're not sure where this goes. Some have suggested that it might just be a drainage tunnel, but it does have a name. So it's, and it's shown on topographic maps as a mine entrance. So I, I don't know. Plus they got, the, they got the pipes in here for air and water for the drills and work our tracks. So it must have been a mine. I don't think it was a drainage tunnel, but who knows. But the water's coming from somewhere, that's for sure. Okay, so we're pretty much out of that really deep flooded section and uh, almost back on dry ground. And right here is uh, something cryptic, MS number three position. There's a little symbol. I'm not sure what that would mean. You can see the water flowing out of the mine. Uh-oh, here's another dam. Hopefully it's not three feet deep. It doesn't look like it. It's just a big dugout alcove there. 
Okay, so we just passed the 2,000 point. Justin was on his way out. He's, he's headed back towards the portal that way. He's going to check out that miner's graffiti that I found. He didn't see that. He said this goes another 890 feet. And uh, there is a... Uh, Thank you.